Hello and welcome to another video. Welcome to Salzburg. My name is Gerhard and in this video I would like to tell you about the Salzburg Festival and the 100th anniversary of the Salzburg Festival now in 2020. We just tried to go to the Salzburg Museum because today the exposition about the Salzburg Festival started. In today's video I want to show you one of the museums in Salzburg, the Salzburg Museum. But I thought it's like all the other temporary exhibitions that there is only a small part of the museum turned into a certain theme but today it's the whole museum only about the Salzburg Festival and that's because the Salzburg Festival is like the most important event in Salzburg and maybe in all of Austria. Salzburg Festival it started in 1920. The idea of the Salzburg Festival originated in the middle of the 19th century when people slowly started remembering Mozart. They thought a festival for Mozart would be a good idea, but Salzburg in the 19th century became poor. Salzburg lost its independence just after Mozart died. The idea of having a festival therefore took a while to develop. It took until 1920 until the first festival happened. The first festival in 1920 happened just two years after the First World War. So Salzburg was still poor at that time. And what they did instead was they only performed one theater in front of the cathedral on a wooden stage they built out of wood they collected from a prisoner's camp in the south of Salzburg. That's how they improvised. They didn't need the wood from the prisoner's camp anymore or the prisoner's camp and they didn't have money for a proper stage. Two years later in 1922 there was the first concert in the university church as a part of the festival. In 1925 they built the first concert hall, the small concert hall, the building here behind me. In 1956 they built the large concert hall, the second part. From then on the small concert hall was called the small concert hall. In 2006 they tried to rename it to House for Mozart, but most of us would still call it the small concert hall. So there are three, three parts, these two, and then there was the original horse riding school of the Archbishop. There was a winter horse riding school and a summer horse riding school. The winter horse riding school is nowadays only used for the break, while the summer horse riding school was adapted for theater and concerts and opera. The summer horse riding school initially was open air. Um, the places for the people in that summer horse riding school, they're built into the mountain. Nowadays they can close it and the mountain is just decoration. If you have seen the sound of music, maybe the image of that summer horse riding school seems familiar. That's where at the end of the movie they performed the Edelweiss song. Now the Salzburg festival is a hundred years old and nowadays it's the most important classical music festival in the world. They sell 250,000 tickets a year. Not this year because 2020 Corona happened. Um, 250,000 tickets every year and most of those tickets like especially for the very popular operas they're sold out. Um, if you want tickets for the Salzburg festival you order them in January and in March they tell you if you get the tickets or not. This year in March they cancelled all the tickets and they didn't know anymore if the 100th anniversary of the festival would be possible at all but they decided at the end of May that they're gonna do the festival anyway. The festival, they have a budget of nearly 70 million euros, but in a normal year, even in a normal year with 250,000 tickets sold, and these tickets are not really cheap, they only manage to cover their costs. The festival only breaks even. The city makes a lot of money from people visiting Salzburg for the festival, but the festival itself only covers their cost. And that means that in this year, in 2020, they will lose a lot of money. They are running on one third of the capacity. It's shorter, usually it's six weeks. Now it's the entire month of, um, of August. The festival usually starts in the middle of July and ends at the end of August. Now it starts beginning of August and ends at the end of August. 
What I usually do for tickets is in January, I order all of the standing seats and the seats that are that have a partly blocked view like behind the pillar. And that's the way to get cheap tickets. Those tickets are certainly sold out in summer. You couldn't get them spontaneously. But if you're thinking about getting tickets for the festival someday, you order them in January. And what I do is I just order all of those tickets. They cost like 20 or 30, 40 euros per seat, the cheapest tickets. And then you get some of those. Last year, for example, I was lucky. I ordered tickets for six operas and I got tickets for all the six operas, two tickets um, each of the operas. But yeah, if you want to be sure, just order all of those tickets. You don't have to take all in the end and you could even sell them here in front of the concert hall because everything is sold out. I do that sometimes as well. Some of the operas take like five hours, means five hours of standing, but you get the ticket for 20 euros. The person that sits in front of you pays like 150 or 200 euros. So it's much, much cheaper if you manage to get one of those standing seats. And if you, if you don't want to go, you can always sell the ticket here in front of the concert hall. There are always people searching for tickets before the, before the concerts. Don't buy tickets online. People before the festival, they managed to sell like 400 euro tickets for 1,500 euros, which is not okay. Um, yeah, just order in January if you want to go or come here and try to get a ticket from someone or check online if there are tickets left. The only thing they repeat every year as a part of the festival is the Jedermann, the Everyman. Everyman, it's the one theater that is started in 1920. It still takes place in front of the cathedral. There is a stage with 3,000 seats. Um, this year it's only one third of the capacity, same as for the rest of the concerts. In a normal year, you can get standing tickets for five euros for the every man. There is a small ticket counter at the entrance to the cathedral square, Tom, Tomplatz. And that's where you get those tickets. But if you want those tickets, it's different than the opera tickets. For those tickets, you have to go there like two hours in advance because people are lining up and then you're standing on the side of the stage. The view is really not that great, but it's only five euros. The theater is in German, so it would only be good if you speak German. It's not an opera. For the opera, it doesn't really matter. But the operas, they have German and English subtitles. The theater doesn't have that. Mm -hmm.